good day. Welcome, everybody. Hello, my name is Miguel Diaz. I am a senior product manager for Spotfire, and I am very pleased to present you today what's new in Tico Spotfire 11.7. As usual, we have to show you the confidentiality and disclaimer statement. I want to start by saying that Spotfire 11.7 is a mainstream release as opposed to a long-term support release. If you are interested in knowing more about the differences, you can just Google for Spotfire mainstream LTS release and you will get to our page with more information. At Tisco, we try to help our customers to innovate and we do it by providing advanced software tools that allow them to connect to different systems, to unify the data from metadata to transactional data so they can analyze their business as it is now and predict the future state of that business. If we focus on the predict area here down there, we provide capabilities around visual analytics, data science, and streaming analytics. And here you can see that Tico provides market leading technologies for all these types of analytics. In fact, Tico is the only vendor that is leader in all three analytics of markets, visual analytics, data science, and streaming analytics. And what does it mean? It means that we at Tico can help you to solve every single type of problem that involves understanding data to figure out what happened in the past, what is happening right now, and to predict what's going to happen next. As a well-known analyst firm Forrester wrote in the Forrester Way for Augmented BI in 2021, uh, Tico Spotfire fuses all advanced analytics, data science, geolocation, and streaming, a formidable set of advanced capabilities in a single platform. And this is, of course, something that we are proud of. But why is this important? Well, it is important because uh, one of the big things that is happening right now in the analytics market, uh, as you know, is the convergence of the technologies and personas. There is a convergence uh, that is bringing together the technologies of data, human insights, machine learning, and automation. Uh, so the, the need for, especially the need for human insights is becoming greater. And that is actually what Spotfire was originally built for. Humans are creative, we are empathic, and we can think outside the box sometimes. These are qualities that are hard to automate with machine learning, but on the other hand, machine learning and automation can be used to help humans to free up our time so we can focus and deal with things that machines cannot do. Another thing that is also happening is that the data analytics teams are converging. So this means that the engineers, architects, domain experts, uh, data stewards, analysts, uh, cannot only be focused on their isolated views or slices. They, they, they need a joint vision. It is not only about working together, but also about getting working knowledge in their overlapping areas. Therefore, we, we say that uh, there is a convergence happening in terms of personas as well. <clears throat> we are talking about this because uh, TIPCO can uniquely deliver on this challenge since, uh, as you recall from that previous slide, we have uh, leadership positions in all three Forrester waves for BI. We think, we believe that uh, we have the duty uh, a duty towards our customers to address this and help you to become uh, successful. Uh, but insights and data are nothing if they are not used across your organization. Spotfire lets you to use analytics to support decision making through the analytics spectrum. It uh, doesn't really matter whether it is uh, ad hoc discovery or relationships supported with the uh, AI and machine learning, as you see right now here in the background, that can help you to detect correlations of layers, clusters, etc. Or perhaps it is uh, about automatic scheduling of uh, reports to be delivered to a large uh, set of users, or it may be an operational analytic application that helps uh, non-analyst users to do their job, or a data science uh, application for manufacturing engineers or for scientists in the life science, science area. Whatever the case, doesn't really matter. Spotfire is available for you in your desktop web browser from and tablet. And Spotfire lets you operationalize and deliver insights when and where you need them at the moment of the decision, when it matters. So let's start. 
what's new in Spotify 11.7? There, there are two, two big features here. Uh, one is the new, faster, and easier uh, web user interface for administrators. And the second one would be the support for seamless uh, single sign-on to data sources from information services. But there are many other things, there are many other, many other features in the data discovery administration and developer spaces, as you see around here. And we will also touch base on the most recent developments on available visualization modes. So let's move on and start with data. Now it is possible to connect to Tico Cloud data streams from Spotfire on-premises installations. And it's very easy, just with a simple point and click experience, uh, users can visualize and analyze streaming data in Spotfire. Uh, this uh, makes it easier than ever for Spotfire on-premise customers to incorporate streaming data uh, alongside the historical analysis for the most current comprehensive view of their business. Seamless uh, single sign-on to data sources is now supported for Spotfire users connecting through information services. This is enabled by using OpenID Connect to log into Spotfire. Information services then able to pick up the access token retrieved on that login and pass that onto the data source over GDBC. The solution is highly configurable and can be used with any data source that supports token-based authentication, including but not limited to Snowflake, Google BigQuery, and Tico Data Virtualization, where tokens can also be passed through to the underlying data sources. As you know, uh, OAuth uh, is an industry open standard for delegated authorization, and more and more databases uh, are adding support for it. Configuring OAuth for information services data sources also enables authorized access to role-based data. Uh, this means that a user will only see the data that he or she is allowed to. In other words, uh, different users of the same spot file analysis will potentially see different data depending on, on the roles and privileges. End users today expect to use uh, connectors to analyze uh, vast amounts of data without getting frustrated over long waiting times, right? Uh, you want to interact with your data uh, real time. Uh, that's why we added support now for uh, tuples in SQL uh, in clauses which results in performance gains for a number of connectors for users of uh, on-demand data tables. By using tuples, uh, the queries can be more efficiently handled by the database. I mean, in, in other words, the, the where clauses get smaller, which means that it's not possible to handle larger selections in uh, on-demand queries. We, we are always in search for making Spotfire faster. And starting with the uh, Spotfire 11.7, we now use uh, run length encoding and compression. So you will see faster third data function executions and faster export to SVDF files. RLE is a form of uh, looseless data compression. And where you will see the biggest improvements is uh, with images and text where you have a uh, long runs of identical pixels or strings. Good. So now we are in data discovery. This is what the Spotfire was made for, letting humans to discover insights about their business uh, using their data. Image layer zoom interpolation, what's that? We see more and more use cases with the map chart being used to visualize uh, non-geographical data. For instance, in the field of uh, semiconductors uh, manufacturing, uh, map charts are used uh, to inspect small defects within pictures taken by image sensors, uh, such as uh, clusters of defective pixels. While in most image, uh, in most cases, uh, image smoothing when zooming makes the image to look better, that same smoothing uh, could make the images not exploitable for small defects inspection. With Spotfire 11.7, we added a new setting in the image layer appearance opinions, uh, sorry, options <laughs> to keep uh, sharp edges when upscaling images. 
and this is to avoid image blurring and better inspect irregularities within a picture. This preference uh, can be can be set uh, from the image layer properties, and it is disabled by default. But administrators can change the default behavior at user group level. Uh, Tibor uh, sharing an analysis page and visualization to Tibor is now deprecated with the Spotfire 11.7. The feature is still available, but will be completely removed in a future Spotfire release. Well, as you know, in Spotfire 11, we added the ability to build and use a new class of custom visualizations in Spotfire. We call them visualization mods. And very quickly, they have got the great attraction and we have been adding new visualizations, uh, visualization mods on a regular cadence in the TIPCO community exchange. We have now 18 new ready to use visualization mods, uh, network chart visualization, spider chart, 3D scatter plot, Sankey diagram, animatic bubble chart, and many more. Uh, note that uh, all of these new visualizations are available automatically to TIFCO Cloud Spotfire. And they all work both on Spotfire Windows client and web client. We are continuing this effort, of course, with new mods published by TIPCO, by TIPCO partners, by TIPCO customers, and by the individual developers as well. We have great mods coming soon. Stay tuned and visit our community exchange for the latest contributions. One of the latest mods uh, released just a few days ago is uh, the Kanban board mod. It, it is a very simple but useful mod to represent work, tasks, or items in different stages or categories. This is a visualization that is often used, as you know, in agile project management tools, and uh, that is now available in Spotfire. We have also now a configurable gouge mod to display a specific data point uh, using a dial over a radial scale with defined limits. Uh, this mode can be used uh, for many different purposes, like uh, showing the speed, satisfaction, volume, temperature, or to indicate whatever something, whether something is good or bad, high, low, average, above average, or etc. It's a very nice one. Another recent addition is the donut chart mode. This was one of the top uh, requested visualizations in the idea portal, and it is now available to Spotify users thanks to a team of students uh, from the University of uh, Gothenburg in Sweden. Uh, this uh, mode is highly customizable. It is functionally identical to the pie chart with the exception of a blank center that you can, you can see here uh, used to display an additional indicator. It's pretty useful. And, oh, sorry, I jumped over this one. And one more mod that we have just released today, probably the simplest mod that we will ever see, but a pretty useful one as, as well, uh, for sure. This is the display value mod, and it is placed, as the, it, it is said, uh, a single calculated value size to fill the whole visualization area. Existing mods are also updated and improved. For instance, the word cloud mod was recently updated uh, to add support for configuring top, uh, tooltip content from the visualization properties. And the bump chart mod uh, was also updated to improve uh, labels uh, rendering. The animated bubble chart mod was recently updated too. Now it has no limitation on the number of rows. As usual, if you are working on building a visualization mode for Spotfire that you want to share with the TIPCO users community, you can submit it to the TIPCO community exchange. If any doubts, just get in touch with us, uh, primarily with uh, by contacting Arnold Barren. Moving over to the administration part. We are revamping completely the Spotfire admin web user interface. And this is how it looks now. Among other changes, uh, the most noticeable improvements are modern look and feel, improved responsiveness, responsiveness uh, better table sorting, uh, easier 
table filtering with the specialized filter menus, uh, several improved uh, workflows. Now it's uh, faster, less clicks to do some stuff, and many, many other things. One thing, the very first thing that gets noted is the new side menu panel, providing much easier navigation and a better overview. Uh, this, uh, this side menu can also be collapsed and expand to adapt better to different visualization settings. Uh, a small thing, uh, but very useful for those users or organizations working across uh, multiple time zones. The Spotfire admin user interface shows now uh, date and time information using your web browser time zone. Uh, this was requested in our uh, idea portal by several users, and, and here you have it. We have customers with hundreds and even thousands of analysis in the Spotify library. But now, uh, sometimes, it's, sometimes it's very difficult to search, uh, but now it's, it's much easier than ever, uh, thanks to this uh, new uh, filter widget. You can still use advanced search expressions in the text box as before here. Uh, but now the difference is that you have a, this specialized filter widget with common search fields for easier filtering of items using keywords, type, creation, modification time, asset type, etc. We have also customers with hundreds of routing rules and schedule updates. Uh, therefore, we have also introduced a similar specialized uh, filter uh, widget for rules where you can filter easily by latest status, uh, if enabled, disabled, schedule, resourceful. And here you can see similar uh, for the schedule updates activity. Very, very easy to use. For the same reasons, as in scheduling and routing, we have included similar functionality for automation services. Here you can see a specialized filter for the automation services scheduled jobs and uh, for the scheduled jobs activity in an UI. Uh, note that uh, all of this uh, improved the search and filtering for library schedule updates, routing rules, and automation services were requested in several different ideas, different ideas in our idea portal. These uh, new capabilities are based on your feedback and your needs. Uh, thank you for your input. Another improvement within monitoring and diagnostics is that the server diagnostics displays now the names of the data sources created on a Spotify server. Uh, now it is easier to understand which data source the information belongs to. More stuff. Uh, Automatic Spotfire database creation. The, the scripts for Spotfire database schema setup, uh, now they are capable of using uh, environment variables of, or, or user input. In other words, uh, it's easier than ever to automate database creation from uh, either common configuration management tools or scripting. If uh, even in the case of a required variable is not set in the environment, the user is prompted, is prompt for input, which means that uh, you can run it also as uh, an interactive mode, which is useful uh, as well for non-expert Spotfire administrators. Double win. As you may know, as you may know, we, we already support delete uh, library items by unique global ID, but now the new config tool command delete uh, library items uh, provides the ability to delete items by specifying the path and the type of items. This means that you can do batches and remove uh, certain types, all the types uh, from this uh, directory and recursive, much easier to handle the library. Mm, we had comments for listing code uh, signing certificates, but it was not trivial to list uh, those uh, road certificates that had been imported afterwards to the Spotify server. Now with the new config tool command list code signing root certificates, you can list uh, all those uh, code signing root certificates, both the ones issued uh, before and the ones imported to the Spotfire server. Uh, 
reverse proxy. When using Spotify server uh, clusters with many nodes, it might be tedious to configure the reverse proxy in each of them. Uh, now you can configure directly the property that the remote IP valve property with the config tool commands to apply to all the Spotify servers. Much, much easier. Developers. For developers, we have uh, we have a, a deprecation. The Angular JS based API for custom login pages has been removed. We have a new API, which the which has the same capabilities, uh, and this new API is written in plain JavaScript, which means that uh, it does not require any specific knowledge about the front end framework and it's not subject to framework uh, breaking chains. So, yeah. so in summary, what's new in Spotfire 11.7? Uh, we have a discovery, image layer, zoom interpolation, several modes, uh, common board, gauge cloud, donut chart, display value. For data, we have visualized real-time data from typical cloud data streams from the on-premise Spotify Spotfire installations. We have seamless single sign-on to data sources with information services, user-centric data access with OAuth, improved on-demand performance for many connectors and improved their and SDVF performance. Uh, for administrator, uh, we have a new faster and easier user interface for administrators with the side menu panel, easier search and filter improved workflows. What else? Um, several commands for enabling automation or common administration tasks. And for developers, the new API for custom login pages for co-branding. As you can see, it is a, a great release, fully loaded of new capabilities. Uh, thank you. And I hope you like these capabilities in Spotfire 11.7. Stay tuned and see you soon. Thank you.